Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for low sweet crude oil for Tuesday, April the 19th, 2011. Well, a continuation of the trends of the downside in the first time frame, we have a candle that's made a lower high and a lower low. Um, unfortunately for the bears, they've failed to go on with the uh, bearishness from the previous day's trading. We have a spinning top type candle with a very small body. And uh, this candle represents the buyers nor sellers making any serious net bullish nor bearish progress on the day between the open and the close. But also the price rejection uh, as the market was trading up towards the highs and the price rejection as the market was trading down to the lows. So a very indecisive candle, one where the bulls have lost commitment but the bears have also lost commitment. This sets the market up for a change of trend to the upside, so we do need to watch the high of the current candle for a potential higher high and higher low. Now, that would be confirmation of a change of trend. In um, candlestick terms, this is also a potential harami pattern, although we don't have a lot of trend to uh, reverse. We only have a, a trend that's uh, been in force in the first time frame to the downside for two candles. So uh, although... Really, it is um, um, just as important as if the market was uh, trending down in a serious way. It's a potential harami reversal pattern, and that's where the small body of the current candle is engulfed by the previous candle, and so uh, more potential for a change of trend. Now, if the market does change trend, we have very serious resistance overhead, and that begins at around 109.75 and extends all the way up to 115.46. The 109.75 was an area of uh, previous support and resistance and two candles ago we can see that we tested that area and the market was rejected from that area. But also up within this region that we've highlighted in yellow from some time ago when we had the major sell-off in this market, that was an area where the, the market gapped down and that's acting as a window in Japanese candlestick terms and they offer themselves as resistance. And we can see that the market traded up there and then sold off in a serious way from that region so there is very very serious resistance overhead for support we have strong support at the 106.95 area and we've tested down below there on a few occasions we also uh, tested down towards the Kijun Zen which is trading at 104.94 and we can see that the market uh, traded down to there and uh, bounced off found resistance at the 110 region roughly and is uh, testing down to around that level now that level is very important for this market over the next trading day too down below there we have uh, very solid uh, support at the uh, 100 uh, level round number uh, so that will be very strong support now in Ichimoku charts terms we're trading well up above the cloud so the market has an overall positive bias and quite bullish in big picture terms trading up above the Kijun Sen so bullish in the medium term time frame but still bearish in the fast term time frame uh, we've been trading down below there now for uh, this is the second trading period and prior to that uh, there were about four or five trading periods we were trading below so uh, a change of character uh, compared to when the market was rallying uh, from around the 100 level previously uh, looking at the chicka span that's trading above the corresponding price action and that's confirming the overall bullishness that we're seeing in this market so uh, potential for a change of trend but very strong resistance overhead